Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very, very exciting video of factorial equation challenges, we'll be solving an interesting factorial equation with the help of quartic trick. Equation is x plus 6 factorial over x plus 2 factorial equal to 1680. If you want to give guess, then you can take a guess, you will get answer. Second approach can be analytical method. We can find out four successive product or four successive numbers, which is equal to 1680. So that prime factorization method. And third approach is using algebra, we will frame one quartic equation using few tricks or normal calculation of equation solving techniques. We can find out our result. So let's get started by the third one. If x factorial is written, that means domain would be x greater than or equal to 0, where x belongs to integer. Then, as per our equation, if you will see numerator, then x must be greater than or equal to negative 6. As per our denominator, x must be greater than or equal to minus 2. If I will club both or I will take intersection, I will get x must be greater than or equal to minus 2. Okay. Now let's write recursive formula. Because without this formula, we cannot solve. Okay. What is that formula? Formula states that if n factorial is written, then we can write in other form also by writing in the product in such a way. Or n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on. Like this, we can write in any form. Okay. Now let's consider our equation using recursive formula. So x plus 6 factorial. I will write x plus 6 times x plus 5 times x plus 4 times x plus 3 times x plus 2. We have to stop here because our denominator is x plus 2 factorial. Denominator is x plus 2 factorial. Now one quartic equation is about to come 1680. I will cancel these two terms immediately. Now I will write our equation x plus 6, x plus 5, x plus 4, x plus 3 equal to 1680. Let's find out where I give 2 substitution. I have to give our substitution at which point. Okay. So I will consider 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Where is middle point? This point is middle point. This point is 4.5 or 9 over 2. Okay. So what substitution I can give? I will write x plus 9 over 2 equal to y. Once you are writing this substitution, then every term will come out 9 by 2, 5 by 2, 3 by 2, 1 by 2 like that. So every time we will have this fractional value. So that would be a bit tedious. So to avoid this substitution, what I am going to do, I will multiply each bracket by 2. That is the basic trick. So I need to multiply here by 16. 2 times 2, 4, 8, 16. That's why in RHS we will multiply 16. Now let's write what will happen after that. I will get 2x plus 12 first bracket. Second bracket would be 2x plus 10. Third bracket would be 2x plus 8. And fourth would be 2x plus 6. And if you will find out this product, then that value will come out 26880. Okay. Now check. If I will consider on number line, again same thing. 6, 8, 10, 12. The interval, the gapping between 2 is 2. So there is no constraint. Middle point would be this point, 9. 9. So let us give substitution 2x plus 9 equal to y. 
okay now i will give 2x plus y equal 9 equal to y so first bracket will convert this one i will write y plus 3 is that okay second bracket 2x plus 10 so if i will add one to both sides i will get so y plus 1 2x plus 8 y minus 1 2x plus 6 y minus 3 equal to 2 6 8 8 0 now clue is there y minus 3 y plus 3 a plus b a minus b a square minus b square the difference of a square identity again same way a plus b a minus b y plus 1 y minus 1 y square minus 1 y square minus 9 okay so let me write in that form i will write y square minus 1 times y square minus 9 equal to 26 8 8 0 i can write y square let me give again substitution y square equal to t okay if i will substitute this our equation quadratic equation will convert t minus 1 t minus 9 equal to 2 6 8 8 0 expand this t square minus 9 t minus t minus 10 t minus 1 times minus 9 plus 9 equal to 2 6 8 8 0 take all the terms to left t square minus 10 t minus take away 9 from 2 6 8 8 0 so it would be 2 6 8 7 1 this is one quadratic equation if you will go for quadratic formula that would be very very tedious because b square minus 4 ac 4 times 26000 that would be big number so to avoid that we will find out factors directly so if you will find factors of 26871 so it would be 159 times 169 you can check and keeping this thing in our mind if i will take the difference then i am getting my middle term so splitting of middle term i am going to write t square i will write minus 16090 plus 15090 because it is negative 10t minus 26871 equal to 0 now from first two term i will take t common out so t t minus 169 from last two term i will take 159 common so of course in bracket we will have same 169 because we know this okay now i will take t minus 169 completely outside so our factorization is done 159 equal to 0 now I will write t so because of product form so i can write t is equal to what is t t is y square equal to y square equal to 169 so from here i can write y equal to plus minus 13. remember what was our y 2x plus 9 equal to y this was our substitution don't forget so don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel also now come to second bracket t plus 159 so i will write t equal to what was t y square it is still there equal to minus 159 and see square is negative complex solution is about to come so we will reject this so we can write here rejected complex solution we cannot accept now come to y is equal to plus minus 13 case so i will consider 2x plus 9 which is our y equal to plus minus 13 okay so i can write 2x is equal to plus minus 13 minus 9 if i will consider plus sign then i will be having 13 minus 9 so 4 
if I will take minus sign minus 13 minus 9 minus 22 and LHS is 2x. So x will become 2 and negative 11. Okay. And what was our domain? x greater than or equal to minus 2. Remember this was our domain. So negative 11 we will reject because it is less than minus 2. So what is left? x is equal to 2 is our solution. Let's verify this one. Let's verify x is equal to 2. Verification. I will write x is equal to 2. Let's put over there. So I will write 2 plus 6 factorial over 2 plus 2 factorial. So it is 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial. Okay. What is 8 factorial? 40,320. 7 factorial is 5,040 times 8. So it would be 40,320 divided by 4 factorial which is 24. Once you will divide you will get 1680 which is our RHS. That means x is equal to 2 is the correct solution. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.